Hello everyone, welcome to Shortcut Video Tutorials. In this video, we are going to see that how can we loop a video in Shortcut Video Editor. So there are two ways of looping the video. One is the standard way and the one is a tricky part that we can use to loop our video. So we are going to see both the ways because both of them are a bit different and both of them has their own merits. So let us first start with the first way that is a um, that is not the standard way of doing the things. So this is our video of a tractor plowing a field and I want to loop this video. So once you have selected your video you want to loop click on the plus icon to bring it on the timeline. Once it is on the timeline you can adjust that how much length it is covering on the timeline by using this zoom slider. So this is the length I'm happy with. Then what you can do is just copy this video using control C and paste it using control V. So these are the two uh, videos that we have got. Then at the end of the second video, go back a few frames, then split this using the split icon or uh, you can also use the S key for this purpose. Let us just zoom in a bit into our video. This is the part we have split. Select this part, again press Ctrl C to copy it, then go back to the place where your first video clip has ended. So I'm just going to use this arrowhead uh, design, this particular button to go to that particular place, then paste it over here using Ctrl V. Now if you just go back to the very first frame and let us play the video. So this is how it is playing. And here you can see the video once uh, it has been played completely, then it automatically loops. So let's just see that part. Here it is looping automatically. So once it is completed, again it begins to loop. Just like this. So that's how you loop the video and you can add as many loops as you want that's totally up to you but this is the not the standard way of doing the things but if you want a standard way of doing the things then what you can do is just again bring up the video make sure you are happy with it just click on the plus icon to bring it onto your timeline then what we are going to do is just go to the filters pane by clicking on here click on the plus icon and search for reverse If you cannot find the reverse filter over here, that's probably because uh, you are using a version of shortcut where the filter reverse filter has been removed. So in that case, what you can do, make sure your video is selected. Go to uh, this. So, uh, go to this particular video, right click over here, go to properties. Here, if you scroll down in the property pane, you will see this something that says reverse. So here you are supposed to select a quality. I'm happy with the quality of the video. So let's just click on OK. It will ask you to save the video somewhere. So let's just save it on the desktop. Um, let's just rename it as reversed video. Click on save. So once you have clicked on reverse, then you will see that a job has created that is actually reversing this video. So it will reverse the video and save it onto a place into you where where you have selected like i have selected on my desktop so that's where my reverse video would be placed so once the job is completed here you can see uh, it is getting reversed so let's just wait for uh, the time when this uh, reversing has been completed estimated time you will see over here and here in the percentage you will see the progress that how much video is reversed so let's just meet once this progress has been completed so now our uh, video has been reversed and you can see that in the timeline we are now getting the reverse video if you just play the video uh, it is actually playing the reverse video okay so what we're going to do is just decrease its size a bit then go to the very first frame and here i want to insert the original video so this is my original video so let's just insert it onto the timeline by clicking on the plus icon this is my uh, normal video i guess if you hover over the video name, you will see the video name. So let's just change its position by dragging it to the first place. Or you can just cut and paste the videos. So firstly, I want a normal video and then my I want my reverse video to play. So now if you just go to the very first frame and play the video, this is a normal video playing. Once it has been completed, then the reverse video will start to play. So 
so here you can see now the video is reversing so that's how we have created a perfect loop video in the shortcut video editor that's it for this video thanks for watching